Hey guys, your nerds Cloudus here, and this is another Brave Xvideos <laughs> video. So, the Halloween event just turned up a notch. We got the Pumpkin Pumpkin Reaper Pro Pro difficulty. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going in like randomly and then just wrecking the shit out of it. <laughs> so I will explain all my mistakes, but somehow or rather I managed to clear this. And you could also clear it if you follow take some steps to it preparation. So okay, I have to use a lightning friend because it's possible without lightning, but it's going to be very resource intensive, and that's not good. So, best you bring a very OP lightning friend, or if you have lightning yourself, all the best. Good for you. So, right now I'm taking a Lena, which is my healer, her debut. <laughs> Finally got her trained. Gonna replace Fina. Um, I had my Terra and Tela in because I know that this is going to, or rather, this boss is going to cast some uh, death declaration. So having two people with rays on my side seems to be a good idea at this point. <laughs> and uh, COD and bots are just my barrages. I don't have Chisuru, I don't have lightning, so my attack is kind of low. So mistakes, yes. This this boss now, this pumpkin reaper now is actually immune to all elements except holy. So fire element is gonna be uh, I won't say immune uh, resistance, thirty percent resistance as compared to the the rider, pumpkin rider. The so he is. Resistance to fire. So the Chiriji Raden that I quit bots with and the Viraga that I'm casting is just gonna be so called not as effective as I would want it to be. So uh, I did cast Imperial on him, so that sort of softened it. So right here. Um, We have the death declaration that is AOE now to the entire party and I'm going to just use survival flowers on you can see my Lena and my Pella which have a 6 count instead of 3 because I used the flowers on them. So it's gonna be if you don't have lightning it's gonna be resource intensive. You need a lot of flowers which you, I think you can only carry 10 into battle. You need the uh, you still need your unicorn horn, although this one won't paralyze as much as the other one, as the the rider. I would use the advance and below as rider now, and this one is Reaper. Okay. So Reaper, we only have a. He has a skill that does paralyze, but that one is only twenty percent, whereas rider in advance does fifty percent paralyzing chance, so you get paralyzed there more. In fact, in this whole entire battle here, I did not get paralyzed at all. So, uh, yeah. So all I'm doing is just barraging. This lightning has barrage, so barrage is actually better in the sense because you use less mana and you have more chance to get chains and whatnot. So, okay, so the rider here is already about to die, so to speak. It does cast this AoE thing, which is... Uh, not this one, this is Soul Blaster. This is, a, I believe, a Dark Element skill. The He has an AoE one that uh, actually lowers your defenses. And, yeah. That one is really painful. It does it like 4 and it lowers your defense and spirit. 
And then after that, he does his soul blaster, so you can imagine the amount of damage that you're taking after that reduction of his your spirit. Mm. It uh, lowers by 20% your defender spirit. I normally see him cast that around like the third turn or something like that. So, uh, not sure if it's fixed at every three turns. Uh, at, I mean, at every third turn or not. Nah. But the effect that the debuff effect that he cast with that is an AoE, it lasts for three turns. So, uh, he also have that. He's also able to reap blood and reap soul. Now, reap blood is uh, what we saw earlier. You can see he's getting HP out of my team to heal himself. And reap soul is sucking MP. So, I would say uh, mages here are actually kind of useless. Aside from the fact that they have raised, so it might help you. But <laughs> it's kind of useless because it's almost it's resistance to all the elements. So the thing is, I wouldn't, uh, I do consider him sort of hard in an aspect of uh, you need to prepare for it and you need to do a lot of turn counting. Like, oh, when is your cheer up? Uh, when you have to use the survival flask? All this thought process, all this counting in your head. Because you need the church's uh, defense to actually sort of survive. Uh, is it possible without lightning? Yes. But resource intensive, as I said. Um, basically, if the battle drags out longer, you're gonna have to use more survival flux. You're gonna have to use more healing. You might die, you're gonna have to use things down. Uh, it's not worth it if you don't have lightning. And some calculations here is that although you get 2,250, 2,150 to 2,250 corn, as compared to advance, you are actually getting 26 about there more corn than advance. But the but if you are not able to survive four out of five battles, go back to farm advance, which I think I'm going to do that as well, because I don't have a strong attacker like Chizuru or Lightning, so it really depends on the friends that I have and when they appear, and if I don't have that, it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. The worth, yeah, you have to win four out of five to at least farm on par enough corn. Because you have to consider that you're using some of the corn to trade for survival flux. Uh, that battle, however, I did not use any. I mean, I did not reach to the point where the where I died from that death, death counter. But. If I chosen a slightly weaker lightning or something like that, that could happen. And then that's where survival flowers have to come in. So yeah. So that's my thought on where you should farm if you're not strong enough. Go to advance. This is sort of like uh, once you clear this, get the the spear, which is a sky it's a spear class sky. Once you got that then you're done with this. It's a level, it's a 70 attack spear class of weapon with an active drain, AOE drain ability. So it's not too bad if you want to go for the item, but if you want to go for farming, you have to think about your team. <laughs> if this video has in any way <laughs> helped you whatsoever, please give me a like and comments below on what you feel about this personally where you think is the best area to farm your corn so i'll be seeing you in another video pretty soon okay bye bye